long last, so I finally review this game. Now, many people have been wondering, why have I taken so long to review Payday 2? Well, again, the gameplay was the main problem. That's why. So, anyway, Payday 2, if you haven't played the first game, go and play that, and then you'll probably know what's going on. Anyway, so in Payday 2, you basically do the same shit you did in the last game. But, you know, you rob, you rob stores, banks, jewelry stores, and occasionally you would do a breakout, which is the, with the most infamous Hoxton breakout. And right as you're seeing right now is the card section. The ones you want to go for is XP and bonus cash. The only time you want to go for attachments is when it's, you know, that. But here is what you sometimes every now and then will get. It, it, I don't know if this has ever happened to you when it comes to playing a different person, but mainly whenever I play a mission for Bane, well, one of the contacts at least, I'm always guaranteed going to have to do a car chase if I've forgotten to go and buy the expert driver. Now, I was... No, this gameplay was actually recorded while I was just trying to get some footage, trying to show you the escape mission. And let's just say, these are a fucking... Cunt, these missions. These are the worst thing in the entire game, and let's just say they waste quite a bit of your time. All you're doing is just holding off cops for a certain amount of time, and it makes me think of it like a bad college campaign mission. I'm looking at you, you Tokyo. Mission one minute. You guys like that. But anyway, um. In this, the escapes, there are, there are different maps to the escape screen. This is one of the few But anyway, this map is, I believe it's the jewelry store one. I'm not sure if it is. But I think it's the only exclusive to the jewelry store I think. Another one, which is for the small bank type. And uh, I believe that's the kind of and in this clip I actually fail. Now, I'm just gonna let the gameplay speak for, speak for itself so you can understand how fucking annoying these horrible, atrocious escape are. Because these were attempted badly. Now I'm sure this is, you know, a company, you know, the company owned till they took time out of their day to make this and I and I'm gonna give them points for that. But these Abomination. I'm gonna go and say this, and this, lots of people on my channel are that, bruh, you, you're actually thin. I would rather be playing Dead Ops Arcade than the escape mission for Payday 2. Literally, because the escape missions are the worst. They are the worst. As you can see, it's starting to do good. Oh no, full damage! I, I was aiming, I was trying to aim for a dumpster to hand. Hey, so I get it. Then, if you, if you watch towards the end of the clip, I fucking screw up, I do, because of how annoying and obnoxious these things are. Which is really making me think, should they, should they should have actually removed these weapons. But, that's my opinion. Um, there are actually some heists you can do stealth. But, you know, if you do on stealth, you get a bit of a bonus. But keep in mind, stealth heists are pretty hard to do. Because you've got to go in quiet, try not to get caught, you can press weaponry. Which you can only get through the card section, like I add. And that's where the cards come in. When it comes to the weapon section. When you go and get a card, you always could have a chance to get that one attachment that can at least muffle the gun sound. If you get one of those, you're safe. And if you don't, there goes you ever trying to go and do a stealth mission. You're just have to go and call the smith call the boy mirrors in the job. It's got so many different here. Oh yeah, if it's if it's paid a straight I have a lot of attacks that I can straight away. You know that's that's for another topic. Continuing 
there are numerous amount of heists, but the heists I usually do, and the heists I would recommend when it comes to cash farming, but you will need cash a lot in this game. Now, the, the heist I'd recommend doing is jewelry store, try and do it stealth and death wish, and going. And if you if you haven't unlocked Death Wish and you don't and you you know you're, you're not a very high rank and plus you're having trouble making money, go, go and call me my boy Mirage and I. We 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 we'd love to help you pull that video. And also Galactic Fred as well. He he doesn't mind helping that as well. Not not as Tom or Crow and that. No no one really minds. I mean they, they don't mind. You know if you if you're gonna make more than that. You don't mind. We always love to help another person out. We do. But. Uh, continuing on, uh, there are some things continuing on the heist that I see the cash bar. Big Bang is a heist I do rarely, really rarely, and the chances of me doing that heist is a very short time, and this is a dark mind me if you, if you remember at the start of the clip I actually mentioned I fucked up in this bit. I did! <laughs> I fucked up on this bit! So, basically, there is a throwing technique with, And I'm gonna say this. When you're trying to throw it into a chopper, it fucking falls. See? What the, what the fuck? What are you doing down there? Oh, those skills, those skills to pay the bills! And I'm trying to get back up there. I'm having trouble. I have to run. I have to run for a fucking marathon. And I get shot. I get shot. Nice thin band. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Come on. We can do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. And literally, this bit pissed me off when I failed that because I did this. But here is a clip of an actual good. And actually, a good get part of the game. The uh, heist. Okay, let's do this one. Here is an example for Store's heist. Probably um, the best heist, in my opinion, out. of all the heists. Because all it is is you rob them from stores, make a bit of money. And I've done this quite a bit. Problem is, if you do heist quite frequently, you will get a reduced amount of RP, of XP. So, don't think you're going to be doing this heist quite a lot. Or even Oxton Breakout for all I like it. But anyway, let's I tried to do it stealth, but there. but let's just say I fucked up. I shoot down. down the camera, let's get them down, the and then we hear here. if you hear an alarm go off, beep 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 beep. There we go. That's what happened. And then after that, we gotta go and fight off the cops. We have endless amount of waves until the getaway driver gets there. Now, this is basically this is like Call of Duty, in my opinion. This reminds me of the classic Call of Duty before we got in that fancy exosuit and cyberhetics and the hands and the, the Black Ops and the Freeze and the Avanced and the Warfare. What? The continuing on. This, this, this should have been the re this, this, in my opinion, this should have been Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2015. This should have instead of Advanced Warfare because this, I, I know this ain't made by Treyarch, Sledgehammer Games, or even Infinity War, in my liking. This is the best Call of Duty, the best first-person shooter I have ever played. In a while, and I, I, and I usually take a break from Call of Duty and that. Whenever I'm taking a break, I'm always going to be playing this game because this is the ultimate first-person shooter in my opinion. And I know people might disagree with me. They're going to be like, "Ah, oh, bruh, bruh, bruh." Battlefield, Call of Duty, the ultimate first-person shooter. And yeah, it's your opinion. I all accept it. But this is my opinion as well. In my opinion, that payday button. It's basically, this should have been 2015 called Call of Duty 2015. This should have. In my opinion, at least. I, I was never really too fond of the idea of Advanced Warfare. I mean, it's all, it was, it was all the guy in Kevin Spacey, but 
what's the point in my opinion? But anyway, continuing on. Looks like this uh, extraction team there are uh, there's not much to say about Payday 2 because you know this game pretty 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 old. It's a bit old. It's getting old. It is. I think we're going to be for next gen, and here are the characters you can play as. Um, there's Dallas, Wolf, Hoxton, Houston, Chains, John Wick, and Clover and Drag. I, I don't know if I said that one of the names twice, but here is your way on getting to your scores. Um, it's through this little website by the name of the crime crime.net <laughs> crime.net you can also gamble and get some cards but there are many many things you can do but anyway I decided to try and join a heist to go and get some gameplay but after that heist gameplay I decided you know what? We take a break. Your you know, to a today. take a break. This is a pretense. But anyway, that is the end of the review. I'm going to give Payday 2 any both editions, Crime Wave or Normal Edition. I'm gonna give this a solid nine out of ten. It is totally it is worth your money that you pay for this game. This is the ultimate game. Hi guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Wait, we're still going on? Oh, so hello guys, um, this is The Void. I presume, uh, please like, subscribe and stuff. Just, just do it. If you don't do it, um, I, I'm gonna cry. I will cry, literally.